Hi, this is Renee Olivia, and in this video, we're gonna talk about my morning skincare routine. I'm gonna give you all my like little tips and tricks and things that you should really um, be aware of and know in case you don't already know for mature skin. And um, it's great, and I'm gonna list all the products and all the information down below as well. But first, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos every week. And I'm also going to put my TikTok and my Instagram Instagram handles on as well for you to take a look at. They're just super fun um, platforms that I really enjoy doing and I would love to see you there. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so here I am. I took off all my makeup. I'm completely makeup free. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to start the basic rule of thumb is to cleanse tone, put your serums and then your moisturizer and then your sunblock. So that's the order in which you want to do your products. Now, also keep in mind, you always want to put the thinnest product on first and then increasingly go up to your thickest product. That is again, the rule of thumb and always keep that in mind. It just basically helps your skin to absorb the product sufficiently and much more like better. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, so it's just um, much better for you're not wasting product. And as I'm going through, I'm gonna show you my little tips and tricks that you should keep in mind as well. Um, so let's get started. I wanna start by the cleanser. I, I always, I don't know about you guys, but I like to switch things up. So my go-to is the Olay um, Advanced Aging Regenerist Cream Cleanser. Um, so if, as you can see, this is like almost out. Um, but Olay has great, great products, great anti-aging products for mature skin. So I'm always loving this. Now, my other go-to is this little, I think this is like a dollar. I don't know. I'll have to link it for you. But this really cleans out my pores. And I don't know about you, but as I'm getting older, my pores are getting bigger, which is super annoying. I don't know if you can see. Um, but anyway, I really try to clean out the pores. The, the better you clean out your pores, the, the, the better that it's going to close up and they're not going to stay large. But if you get the dirt in your pores, that's when your pores get large and then you're in trouble. So this has really, really been so helpful. I don't break out. I probably used to break out once a month. Now it's like once every six months, I'll get like a small pimple. So love this. Um, this also has little small micro beads, which is really helpful to clean out your pores as well. This is another one that I'm using. It's Dr. Brandt um, Pore No More Pore Purifying Cleanser. So again, I'm gonna be showing you um, products that are great for mature skin. Again, this is great for cleaning out the pores. So anything with a pore refining um, element, I really gravitate towards. So that's another one. And then the other ones I'm using are these two. And again, I switch off um, because I like to, I don't like my skin to get used to a product. I like to switch it up a little bit to um, create, um, uh, I feel like a better um, balance for my skin. So these both have vitamin C um, and I love vitamin C and I will put all the benefits of vitamin C so you can see that um, later in the video, okay? So those are my cleansers. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, especially in this Dr. Brandt product, it has salicylic acid, tree, tea tree oil, and willow, um, white willow bark. I had to actually look up white willow bark because um, uh, I didn't know what that was. But the, but the salicylic acid in the tea tree oil, tea tree oil is really good for acne, um, and the salicylic acid is really great for cleaning out your pores. Like again, I mentioned, it's really important to make sure your pores are clean and it does keep acne at bay. So all really important things. So I really do, as I'm going along, I'll tell you why I'm looking at specific um, things in my product or ingredients in my products um, for my mature skin. So I'll make sure I um, talk about that as we go along. Okay, next up is my toner, and this is Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. Again, um, I'm repeating myself, but this is great for cleaning out your pores. It has the um, alpha and beta hydroxy formula 
um, which it says visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refined skin. So that's really important. So I really do look at the product and make sure it's great for my skin and my mature skin. So I love it. So next up are my serums. This is the one I'm absolutely obsessed with right now. It's Sensual's uh, Facial Serum Vitamin C with Hyaluronic Acid and uh, again, Vitamin C. So let's talk about the Hyaluronic Acid. Um, it's super important because it does help your skin um, maintain the hydration and um, pulls in all of the products you're putting in. So really, really helps to create that moisture that you need in your skin, especially at our age. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on because I already did my toner. And oh, I wanna show you what it looks like. It's see how thin it is. And that's why I'm putting it on first. And so this is the other, and again, sorry about my nails. So one of the things that I do with every single product, um, skincare product is I, um, first of all, I put it on and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like really push it into the skin so it penetrates into your skin really nicely. Now, the other thing that I do is I make sure I'm putting it on my hands and I'll put a little bit more on my neck and decollete. Is that how you say it? De decollete, I think. I never know how to say that. But it's super important because your hands, your neck, and your chest are really telltale signs of aging. So you're not wasting your product when you um, put it in on your neck and your chest and your hands. It's actually helping. So I always do that. Um, so that's my serum. So the vitamin C um, benefits, which I told you I was gonna tell you about, and I have a lot of vitamin C in a lot of my products. Um, it's just a great, great ingredient. It helps brighten your skin, it helps with acne, it helps with um, redness, hyperpigmentation. It's just a really great hydrating product that I love. So. Let's go on to the next. Next up is my Ampoule. I think that's how you say it. I really don't know, but obviously I'm almost done with this. Um, but this, this, if you look at it, it's um, thicker than the vitamin C, just a little bit. It's more of like an oily. Um, so again, I'm gonna push it into the skin to help penetrate. Now this is just really about hydration um, and it's, it, for me, I have not broken out. It's, it's an oily, like kind of oily. Um, I guess that's how to describe it. But um, I have not broken out at all. And obviously I've used this a lot. Uh, but this is just a really um, good hydrating product that helps my skin just feel brighter and more um, vibrant for the day. So that's that. Again, I put it on my hands. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention before we move on is this is um, also great for redness or blotchy and uneven skin. So that's the other thing. As we get older, we really do get that uneven skin tone. So I love that, this product for that. And next in the lineup is your eye cream. Obviously, um, as we get older, we're getting um, these little crow's feet and the dark circles under our eyes. So eye cream is super important and you wanna put that on before your um, facial moisturizer. I ran out of my Olay Retinol um, eye cream, which I'm obsessed with, so I'm gonna to go to the store. But these are also some eye creams that I use that I really, really love. So we'll, um, I'll list everything that I use. Um, but so what you wanna do is you take like a pea size amount and you wanna do your this finger. So I'm going to move that. And you want to be very, very gentle around your eyes. So you're going to just tap, 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 tap. And then this is what my mom taught me to do. Just keep um, very lightly going around your eyes and make sure that it penetrates into the skin completely. So just keep doing that. But be very gentle around your eyes because your skin is very um, thin around your eyes, so you wanna be very careful. And what's great about the retinol in my um, um, eye cream from Olay is I like to have retinols because 
um, it's great for um, reducing the fine lines and wrinkles and um, acne. It's just a great product at our age to have. So I love it. So there's your eye cream. Next up is your moisturizer. And right now I'm using Bliss. This is called Bright Idea Vitamin C Pro Collagen Brighten and Firm Moisturizer. Again, you see the vitamin C in here. Um, the other one that I like to switch off is um, the Olay uh, Regenerist um, Moisturizer for your skin. Okay, so I use a pretty generous amount. Now this again is way thicker than the other, the eye cream and the um, serums. So you want to put it on again. Be be gentle, uh -huh. but once it's um, that once you have it all like smoothed over, then just go ahead and push it into the skin. The other thing I want to tell you a little trick is or tip is to wait, I would say 30 seconds in between each product if you can, to give it time for the products to really penetrate the skin. So then once that's done, again, I put it on my hands, I put it on my neck and my chest and I rub it all in. Cause um, this part is very, very thin, the skin. And as we get older, it gets thinner and um, I'm noticing this area is getting, I don't know. Oh, it's so much fun getting older. But yeah, so that is my moisturizer. Again, I gave you all the benefits for the vitamin C. Um, and did I give you, I hope I did. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna list it all cause I'm like taping and I'm forgetting what I'm telling you. But vitamin C is just, I love it. I love it so much. It really does help brighten up my skin. Um, but there you go. Okay, next up is sunblock. Okay, so I have three that I want to talk about. This one, sorry, my curling iron burned it. Um, but this is Kula, it has a 50 SPF, and this is just your classic face sunscreen. And um, it's very thick, so obviously it's thicker than my moisturizer. So it's gonna go on last, um, and before I start putting on my makeup. Um, and Again, you just wanna make sure it penetrates and you need to put um, your sunscreen on even in the winter because um, it's just super important to be very mindful of it. So I love it. There's not like a really strong smell or, or odor. So I love, I love this and it's a great, 50 is a great area where you should be for sunblock. The other two, this one is, they're both goop super goop. Um, this is Invincible Setting Powder, and this is great because if I forget to put the Kula on, then um, once my makeup is all done, I can just do this and choo -choo -choo -choo, you put the powder all over your face. It's a setting powder, so it's great for your makeup, and you're also getting, this is a 45 um, SPF, so I love that. And then the other thing is the mist. This is a defense ref refresh resetting mist and this is the 40 SPF and again you can just spray this after you did your makeup or you can do it like now and then put your makeup on but it's a nice refreshing mist and it helps set your makeup. Those are the products. I'm going to list everything down below and a little bit extra because again, I really have some favorites that I like to incorporate into my skincare routine every like couple months, so. Okay, so that was my video on uh, my morning skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And I, I really wanna know if, if you found this really helpful, if there's other videos you'd like to see. But um, I really enjoy doing skincare routines. Skincare is like something that I'm really passionate about and something that I love to share. So anyway, I hope to see you all next week and remember to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all next week.